Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm a Cloudy Sheep and we are playing Rule the Waves. Um, we are playing the US in 1905 and we just make, uh, made a couple of, of very uh, important uh, research advancements. And all of these um, relate to the ship design over here. And there are three things um, that now come together which are very important, um, I feel. So first of all, um, we are able to pr uh, build ships with uh, free centerline turrets, and that has been true for a while. We are also able to build superimposed X turret, um, and that is uh, something that we will see in a second. Um, we are also now, and I think that was at the end of the last episode, it's been actually a couple of days since I recorded the last one, uh, we are now also able to um, build main battery wing turrets. And all of these things do mean um, that a couple of things um, change in, in, in ship design. You can see that our most advanced ships, it's now in 1904, uh, were these um, battleships that were finished in 1904 over here. And you can see that these guys um, have a main battery of just four 11-inch uh, guns in two turrets, uh, one to the front and one to the back, and a couple of 10-inch um, guns as a secondary battery. Now, that does sound like a lot of firepower, and it is, um, but there are certain drawbacks to, to this design. Um, specifically the secondary battery, um, that does count as another ship firing on a target, um, and that means um, the basically the splashes will be... ships will... will <laughs> if, if more than two ships are targeting one ship, um, uh, there are certain drawbacks to that, and uh, ships get penalties to that. So. Having a super strong secondary battery is not necessarily um, the greatest because you can um, effectively outclass any ships uh, quite as strictly. So keep in mind this this design is um, has basically finished building last year. Um, it's a 17,000 ton ship, uh, just 17 knots, um, with a four battery um, main um, gun. We'd now be able uh, to design something entirely different. Um, and let's clear all. Um, we would now be able to design uh, what we call a proper battleship, so a dreadnought battleship. Um, let's let's um, get an auto design over here. And you can see that now we'd have a design where we don't have just four main guns, um, but in fact, ten main guns. So an, an immense improvement in, in overall firepower. Um, now the layout of that we'll, we'll have to talk a bit about, but um, the main thing of course is that we do have three centerline turrets over here. Uh, we also have two wing turrets, and we have this uh, one of the uh, centerline turrets is in the superimposed design. So that means that this X turret over here, aft superimposed, can also fire to the back. So um, that is a, an, an immediately immense um, leap in, in, in design and that's only been a year since the last um, ship really um, got to play. So I am thinking about designing and, and building ship like that. Um, there are a couple of things though that, you know, as, as always in, in Rule of Waves, there are always things that where you think, okay, maybe we can wait a couple of more turns, maybe something um, important will happen. Now, what I do know is that in seven turns, our dock size uh, will increase by uh, 2,000 uh, tons. So, I'm somewhat tempted um, to wait a bit uh, and see what will happen in the next seven turns so that we can maybe build um, a better design overall. And I think that's a good decision because one thing that is still um, irking me is that our 12 and 13 inch guns over here um, come in a quality of minus one, so at a reduced... Um, can I actually... no, I can't... Oh, I can see the details over here. Yeah, so if you look at our 11 inch guns, they have a range of 13.3 kilometers. If you look at the 13 inch guns, they even have less range. And at 12 um, kilometers, they have a penetration of 7.1, whereas these guys um, yeah, are somewhat, somewhat worse. But on the other hand, you know they have a higher rate of fire, um, and I really don't feel like like it doesn't warrant the cost to to jump up um, by, by that much um, of a difference. So 
right now I feel like our 11 inch guns are actually the best that we do have so I would like to design a ship that is both heavier and has heavier guns so what I'm gonna do is go to research over here make sure that in fact yes um, our uh, gun research is coming on a very high priority um, I'm gonna put everything else on a relatively low priority um, that doesn't necessarily need to come in right right now um, and just make sure ship design I'll leave on medium because there might just be um, something that, that we do develop um, although we have um, we are fairly straightforward turrets um, actually what have we designed so far okay this is just a gradual rate of fire improvement um, so that I think we can put on low because that I think comes in um, once we um, even even on existing ships so fire control most of these are gradual and we are fairly advanced so I'm going to keep that on low hull construction these things are always nice because they do give some burning so um, I'm going to keep these two on medium and the machinery development which is pretty advanced um, with five levels gained already I'm going to turn that to low you know what I'm actually going to keep it to medium because we might just get lucky and I'll increase the overall budget here as well um, so that the monthly budget um, drops down a bit and just let's check what we do have under construction a um, couple of light cruisers yeah, I guess that's fine um, a heavy cruiser that's also good um, do we want more light cruisers I think we're fine right now let's let's save up a couple of funds make sure our coastal fortifications are okay yeah some are being built good to see okay um, let's hope that in the remaining seven turns uh, we do get um, some some good effects take a turn yes very nice um, Great Britain really always Great Britain do we want to get in a fight with Great Britain we have less battleships we have less heavy cruisers uh, we have less light cruisers considerably fewer destroyers and they are in fact building a battle cruiser also Germany is starting to build a battle cruiser and France but the UK's one is still the uh, biggest one at no, we don't really know anything about it, but all right, let's 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 see what the decision is about. So, upheaval in Mozambique. Um, Great Britain is apparently sending a force there. Um, they have more far-reaching plans. Uh, we could increase tensions with them a lot by a bit, or not at all. So, I I think other enemies might be more um, more um, well, be, might be better for us. Okay, so I'm stealing secrets, and uh, the UK has taken over Mozambique over here. You know what? I think that's fine. This, the Indian Ocean isn't isn't really a focus area for us anymore. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, we are gaining funds by by quite a bit over here. So, and the coastal fort here will be done very soon, and that's going to be another million. So. No, on the one hand it's good, but I'm worried that um, uh, our president is going to ask some serious questions over here uh, whether we really need this budget. Um, and we do need this budget, so um, let's make use of that. Um, I'm actually going to build another ship, and that is a light cruiser of the latest design. And yeah, just a single one, two, uh, I think one is fine. Yes, please. There we go, it's going to take a while, but it should be fine. Take a turn. More ships, yes. Five more turns. Come on, give me some good research. Internal upheaval in Borneo. We could take it over as a colony. It would increase center force. I actually think we would like a chance for another colony. I am worried about the UK, but you know what? Yeah, um, so, damn it. Okay, at least some, some nice research um, being done here, um, but the 
situation with the UK is again spiraling out of control. Um, having gotten a bit of hard construction, I think we can turn this down to low, maybe increase the chances of getting better guns in the remaining four turns. Uh, we are still running quite a positive balance over here, and I am worried that we are going to war soon. So actually, I'm, I am going to enable this training over here again. Um, that's going to bring us down uh, to negative amounts, um, but I am fine with that. Yes. It's only going to take in force in 12 months, and in fact the coastal fortifications here, uh, that's going to be ready in two months, so I think at that point we should then again be uh, running a positive uh, amount. Uh, let's sort these things by basically the size here. It's looking good. San Diego, when does the San Diego do? In four months. Okay. Let's see, four months. Unexpected advances in ship design. Okay. That is interesting. Now, we have to talk about that a bit. Um, D, F, or E, and G. Um, so, cross deck fire is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I don't think the US ever did that, but um, yeah, let's, let's see about that. Um, Kept that on medium. I'm I'm gonna keep it on medium for 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 the uh, time being. Uh, we are running a deficit, but that's fine. In fact, that's what we wanted to do. Uh, we are gonna. Mm. What do we know about your? Don't really know much about you. Oh, well. Take a turn. Yes. 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 Um, yeah, we do in fact want to get that. Um, shooting competition for all ships in the Navy. Uh, increase morale and combat readiness. Uh, will substantially increase maintenance. Um, yeah, that is an excellent idea. I I'm going to do that because Chicago wins. That's nice to see. Um, so we are back in, in the positive balance. Uh, in two months we will start um, designing and building a new ship. Um, at that point also the San Francisco is going to finish up. Um, and that's good to see. Uh, we should also see that a couple of our ships here are uh, starting to, to uh, they're working up. So that's always good and nice to see. Oh, that seems to be doing fine. Um, the heavy cruiser over here at some point will need a better firing um, position, but that's not for now, uh, because that is in fact the only uh, ship that we do have on foreign stations, FS over here. Um, so that's something that we want to keep in mind. So I'm going to go all out on um, the gun over here uh, with the remaining round. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, we might as well try. Boosted uh, industrial production, good to see. New docks completed. Finishing uh, working up, good, good, good. But no effect over here um, on, on that. So that's a bit of a pity. Um, let's look at the almanac over here. So everyone is starting to build um, better cruises over here. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, do we want better cruises or do we want better ships? So let's um, design a ship over here. Let's auto design that for us now. Um, we are going to certainly go to the maximum uh, possible tonnage that we can build right now. So that's in fact what we waited for. Um, we will. So if we look at the firing arcs um, on these turrets. Uh, that's looking good. I mean, two ships, uh, two guns, sorry, two turrets being able to fire backwards, um, one to the front, and our broadside would consist of one, two, three, four um, turrets over here, uh, and we're building five. So it's an interesting design. Um, by the way, I don't think it's a design that the US ever used. I think the US always has focused on, um, on center line turrets and was, in fact, very advanced in, in taking. Um, and making use of these superimposed turrets, um, but you know, not not this time. So F and G. So let's remove G. Let's 
what was it? <laughs> I forgot. Um, K? K and J, maybe? Or on? So, port wing, and I think we want port wing J, J and K probably. So, like that, I think. So again, uh, we'd have a broad type of um, 4, so that didn't really change anything. But what we could do now is use this crossfire um, option here. Uh, that will increase the weight uh, over here by, by about 50 tons. Um, but it would enable us um, to use a tiny, tiny um, firing arc here. And potentially, if we are perfectly within this range, have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 turrets firing. Um, it's a bit of an unusual design, um, and I think it was not very often used. Um, I think only on the HMS Colossus, and I want to say some of the German Kaiser or Koenig class. I think the German Kaiser class used used a similar layout, um, although maybe not with the uh, super firing um, turrets. I'm actually not sure about that, but you know this this crisscrossing asymmetric design over here. Um, and the reason why that wasn't used uh, historically quite that much is because, well, um, firstly it really really restricts the superstructure, right? You can't, um, you, you really have to make sure that this um, field of fire is clear here and that your turret can actually swing around and, and shoot in this direction, um, which in the graphic here it wouldn't be able to because it would just hit that. Um, and in fact, it's not necessarily something that, that is really ideal, um, because you can imagine this, if, if the gun barrel is over here and then it shoots out um, towards the right of the starboard, um, actually the blast um, would typically um, <laughs> tended, tended to, to damage uh, su your own superstructure as well, uh, you know, all the loose bits and pieces, um, people potentially standing around, people in the conning tower would maybe feel the shock of that a bit more. Um, any sort of rescue material or small smaller guns that, that are active um, would be affected by that. So that's not necessarily something that, that is super, super nice. Um, and yeah, you typically want to avoid that. So yeah, um, but for now, uh, within the game, I, I, I think that is something that we like. Um, the 50 tons over here, that is something that I'm, I'm very happy to accept. Um, I still don't really want torpedoes on battleships. I think that was a horrible idea to begin with um, and, and never really practical. Um, torpedoes can just as well be carried by the, uh, destroyers um, or even better because they are faster, get into position even more easily. Um, and you never really had the situation where you had two lines of battleships that would just launch massive amounts of torpedoes on each other. Uh, on the other hand, you'd always create a weak spot in your own armor, um, where if the enemy hit the torpedo room, uh, you'd, be, you'd be off pretty badly. Anyway, um, let's think about our gun quality over here. So we can choose um, 13 caliber guns, or in fact the 11 inch guns. Um, and I do think that, you know, still overall Let's say 8,000 is, is a realistic range. We'd be able to penetrate 7.1 inches over here. Um, with the 13 inch, it would be slightly better. It's true. But you know, that weighs 1,200 tons. This is, this is so much, so much less. Um, so I think 11 caliber um, will be fine over here. What I am going to do is increase the caliber of the secondary guns, um, at least to, to 6 inch um, guns and maybe a couple of more so that we have 8 um, on each side. Um, I think that's a bit better so that we have something against, um, um, what's it, um, <laughs> tor torpedo boats, destroyers, like that. Um, that does leave us relatively comfortable with the remaining weight over here. So. Um, you can think about that um, a bit, and I do think that the speed of 21 knots, um, let's see, the machinery is 
it's really tiny actually it's it's a tiny tiny fraction of of the overall weight um much less than than i typically think um is is normal so um let's increase the speed a bit here and and see what that does 2000 10 percent of the overall weight i think that's fine i think that's a very lovely idea now the big decision that we do have to make is what will our, our overall strategy be? Because as the US, um, I think it does say that when I Google it here, as the US, our home zone is in um, the North American East Coast over here. And this is really what counts as our, um, as our home base. And the big factor by which you win or lose wars is blockading, blockading the enemy or being blockaded yourself. Um, do we want to go more actively um, and suppress um, enemy presence? For example, venture out to Northern Europe over here and block off the enemy there, uh, or even in, in Southern Europe. Um, Northern Europe, of course, is the UK, uh, France, uh, Germany uh, and Russia. Uh, Southern Europe is Austria, Austria-Hungary actually, uh, and Italy, or uh, Japan in this area over here. None of these are areas where we do have our own bases, so we could think about designing um, ships uh, with a long range, so um, th that are a bit more reliable. No, sorry, that, that do have more um, more accommodation uh, with the engine priority that goes towards reliability. Um, you know, these these are factors that are there. So that would right now be. Um, about seven seven point six thousand tons so on the other hand if we were to go to uh, the opposite and say okay we are content to to provide security in the north Amer northeast american sector itself um then we'd be saving two thousand six two thousand four hundred tons over here so that's pretty significant um and And it would be an interesting choice, to be perfectly honest. But I do think, you know, against the UK, I still would want to be defensive. But against any other nation, even though the UK looks like our most uh, imminent enemy potentially, um, I think we have to be more aggressive. So, uh, sorry, freeboard, that is something that we will never touch. That means basically. Um, we would design our ship to be more in, in calmer waters if we're going for low, uh, low freeboard. Maybe it makes sense for Italy um, or Hungary, because the Mediterranean is typically less um, less uh, hefty than the North Atlantic. We on the North Atlantic definitely want to be on normal over here. So, in fact, I think we want to have a long range, very reliable engine um, craft over here. And that means uh, we can dial down the speed a bit. And because the reliability increases um, the machinery weight of it. I would love to do the um, oil firing because that really really reduces the um, the cost uh, sorry the, uh, the weight uh, but it's not something that we can do right now and for some reason we lost all of our turrets that's that's nice art art superimposed then I think we have the E no, we have the F, right? The F and the port, starboard, 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 starboard wing. Okay. Yeah. I think like that. So, yeah, we are at the edge of, of the potential weight. So, um, let's make sure our armor is somewhat what we'd like to see. Um, nine inch belt armor? It's not really thick. It's it's almost a battle cruiser right now. Um, four inch extended deck, two point five deck extended. Yeah, that that looks decent. Um, the conning tower I would like to be better armored. Um, and it, it's not a significant part of the ship in in weight, but you know if we lose it, it would be horrible. Um, the turrets I would also like. No, of course not. Um, like to be better armored at least. Um, what about if we place these into turrets? I don't think that's a good idea. 
and in fact we lost that. Right, um, secondary turrets, nope. So, um, that actually has to be catamounts. All okay. And slightly weight remaining, um, but the turrets are still not, still not um, quite okay. So, and in fact, we typically want some more weight, um, weight remaining. Uh, we could also do torpedo defenses, but that would really um, push up weight by quite a bit. Um, I don't, don't think it's really required. Now we don't have the director. We definitely want two fire control positions. I think we can go lower with the speed. Um, especially on, on the reliable long range engine um, just to get a bit of better um, turret armor. Slightly less weight would be ideal. Um, just so it's a bit upgrade um, friendly and, and we could replace the fire control um, if we ever need to. That's actually the difference in weight. Not that much. I think it's fine. If we ever need to upgrade, um, we can pack a few less rounds. Yeah, I like that. So let's build the first Dreadnought battleship um, in history. Um, it's going to be a very, very costly ship. It's it's a humongous ship. It's more than any anyone else um, currently has, um, but it's definitely um, an interesting ship. It's it's decently armored. It's well armored. Um, it's, it's decently armed and well armored. Um, it's fast. It's reliable. It's long range. It's super big. Um, it does have good secondary guns. Um, so what's what's not to like? It will outgun everyone uh, that there is, and it will be named California. So gotta love it. Um, yeah. I think that's, let's make it one last pass over here, let's save it, all good, okay, yes, in fact we want to build one. It's going to be expensive, it's going to be expensive as hell, it's eight, uh, eight, 80, 80 million um, US dollar over here, um, and it's going to take nearly three years to build. But, you know, I, I think that's the way it is, um, yeah. And it's going to be in California. It's going to cost quite a bit of development um, just to make sure that that is out there. Um, once these uh, two finish up, now I think we'll actually build an immediately um, pair to that. New Jersey, Colorado. Yeah, let's go with Colorado, California, both the sea. I, th I think that's that's okay. And uh, notice the maintenance cost of three hundred sixty thousand dollars per month over here, uh, which is estimated, um, but yeah, which you can see is is much much more than uh, what we currently pay, nearly twice as much as as a New York class battleship. But it does look good to me. Um, two very nice um, battleships coming online um, as soon as possible at least. Great. Um, that does eat. Quite a bit of our funding though, um, but I think that's that's going to be fine. Uh, let's get back to the research over here. Um, we will keep a high focus on guns um, and a medium focus on on all of these things. Um, yeah, I think that's okay given how far advanced we are. Medium, medium is always going to be high. Um, AP projectiles, let's go to medium close of shots, that's okay. Train submarine ring warfare. I don't really care. Submarines, torpedo technology. We're lagging behind that slightly, so light forces medium. We haven't designed to destroy in quite a while. Fleet tactics, medium because we are very far behind. And explosive shots we do. Yeah, okay. Like that. Good to see. 
Uh, we are still on the enhanced training, um, and that does eat quite a bit as well. But uh, close to mastering small tube boilers. Interesting. Not exactly sure what that means. Uh, whether it's a gradual improvement um, or more substantial one. Um, yep, yeah, our one ship has uh, finished building. Uh, they have a cruiser, which is over here. It's working up. As soon as this has worked up, uh, we are going to replace the fire control on this one uh, and swap these around. But yeah, that's going to have to wait uh, until then. Um, other than that, uh, in about a year, yeah, well, we do have more than 10 months. We do have about a year over here, so uh, let's, let's see what will be developed over there. Coastal submarine looks okay, I guess. Everyone is starting to build battle cruisers, um, except Great Britain um, has also started to build a resolution class, and the Prime Minister of Great Britain has increased the naval spending because we designed it the first battleship. So, oh well, there we are. Trouble more turns here. France is also starting with the first. Um, Dreadnought, Russia increasing as well. Yeah, so every, everyone is starting to get crazy. Um, and that's as, as it was historical, right? And we can see that, you know, the UK's Dreadnought is actually a bit bigger than ours. The other ones are slightly smaller, though. Yeah, but even, even the battle cruiser over here is, is massive. German battle cruisers seem to be somewhat smaller. Yeah, good to see. Okay, let's go ahead then. San Francisco's finished working up. Theater protection uh, one. Okay, so it wasn't even enabled. Um, better range for coastal submarines. Nice. Um, Germany has stolen technology. Defense leaked to the press and they're going to run What should we do? Um, yeah. I don't mind increasing tension with Germany. Should be able to beat them. Although I would like um, the tensions with the UK to go down slightly. Um, right then, here we go. Um, San Diego has finished up. Uh, we are going to tell you to go on foreign station and you, sir, um, can please be rebuilt to the standard in three months? Yeah, that's fine. And we will still fulfill our obligations over there, so that's all very nice and good to see. Yeah, that's good. Modernize the demands, but I don't think it's, it's worthwhile. Although, interesting enough, the modernized ones are a bit cheaper in maintenance than the uh, older ones, which is interesting. Oh well. So. I think that this is a very nice place uh, to put in a cut. So uh, let's let's take one more turn, and we've done uh, exactly a year. Regional war seems imminent in South America. Uh, wants to step up export to the likely Belingrians. What is our um, yeah? No, I, I think budget increase would be nice. Um, tension increase not so much, especially if it's with the UK, and of course it is. Oh, there we go. Small boilers one, so it was just gradual weight on machinery. Okay, good. Yeah, more gradual improvements. Uh, that's always very nice. Excellent. So, here we go, one year later, uh, with our first um, two battleships, the California and Colorado, in development. Um, very nice ships, I believe. Very long range, very um, reliable. Very good force projection. Um, slightly lower um, caliber guns than I would have um, liked to see, um, but still a very, very potent force, especially if we were to develop um, or get into a situation where we can deliver broadsides. Nevertheless, two more years to go uh, until these uh, boys come online. We could accelerate that, um, but that would cost us uh, quite a bit, and I don't see the immediate need for that, although we are pretty close to war. Um, but, you know, that war is probably still one that is going to be fought with uh, conventional battleships. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys 
next time. Bye-bye.